Hi guys, we're back and today's video is our five must know tips for picking a cruise. Tip number one, shop till you drop. When you're picking your per perfect carnival cruise, you want to shop around. You want to pay attention to your departure port. You want to pay attention to itinerary. You also want to look at different cruise ships. Don't pick the first thing that comes um, that you see. Um, do some shopping around, do some research, and that way you can pick the best cruise for you. So tip number two is itinerary. So for us, we have a bucket list of places that we want to go. And so we choose our cruises based off of where they're going. We like to check off our lists. Um, for an example, last year I wanted to go to Puerto Rico. Um, that was high on my bucket list. So we took a cruise to Puerto Rico for my birthday. All right, our third tip is think about the duration of the cruise that you want to go on. Um, when I am talking to first time cruisers, I always recommend that they go on a shorter cruise just because you've never been on a cruise before. You don't know how your body is going to react and you don't know if you actually like cruising. So why go on a seven day cruise if it's your first time and then like me on out, not our first cruise, but our first cruise back to cruising after about 13 years, um, I was incredibly seasick the entire time that I was on the ship and I was lucky it was only a three day cruise so I could get off of that ship because I had gotten so seasick. Now I've learned the tips and the tricks on what to do to avoid the seasickness but luckily I was only on a three day cruise so I always encourage people for your first cruise try something shorter and then you'll get the hang of it and then you can go on longer cruises. And to say something about Carnival, um, I know on the usually on the three day cruises um, they usually, you're in port through, through the day and you travel at night. So that helps people with seat sickness because you're on land during the day. And at nighttime, if you are feeling sick, it's okay to go to the room and go to sleep to sleep it off. Tip number four is timing is everything. Before you book your carnival cruise, you want to pay attention to when you want to set sail. Are you a summer person? Is it better for you and your vacation if you go in the winter time? Um, is there a destination that you want to go to and a celebration that you want to see in that destination? So all of those things that you, you really do need to take into account before you set sail. And I always try to inform people when you sail in the summer, that is going to be the more expensive time of the year because the kids are out of school. Everybody's wanting to go on vacation for the summer and your fall is going to be a little bit cheaper and there will be less children on the ship because they'll be back in school but fall is also hurricane season so i always encourage my clients to get travel insurance tip number five counting the cost and what i mean by counting the cost is make sure you are paying attention to all the expenses yes you do have um, the um, cost of your carnival cruise but also think about any kind of gratuities um, any kind of excursions that you um, are planning on even going down a day before, which is what we recommend for people, also add that into your budget. If you're getting planes, um, any meals, all of that needs to you need to research beforehand so you have a great idea of the budget that you'll be spending on your carnival cruise. So it'll be a lot less stressful once you get on your cruise. We also always try to plan our cruises at least a year in advance. Um, usually it's more cost effective. That way we get better deals. Um, it also gives us time to pay on it if we need to. So there you have it guys. Those are our five must know tips for picking a carnival cruise. And if you have any additional tips that you'd like to share, drop them down in the comment section. Until next time. Bye. Peace.